Hi everyone, Liz from the Everything Zen again. Um, today I decided to do a video on the different sages that are out there. At our store we have four different sages, but there's many more available uh, for your specific need. And um, not just sage, but there's also either like tree bark, really, and herbs that uh, you can burn for medicinal pur purposes or for um, the ceremonial reasons. So what we're gonna do is discuss these today and I'm just gonna give a quick uh, highlight on what they are, what they're used for. Make it simple and quick for you, okay? Um, so go ahead and before we get going, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that way we can keep you updated on meditation, uh, Reiki, um, whatever else, you know, and just for us to contact uh, people outside of our area. You can also find us on Twitch at the underscore everything underscore Z. So subscribe to our channel and check us out on Twitch also. All right. Great. When you hear of sage, a lot of times you also think of the term smudging, but what that means is to make uh, a smoky fire. So, and that all comes from like back in like 1860. So um, that's where that comes from. And it actually comes from an English term where many people associate smudging with Native Americans. So it comes to find out, um, I found that very interesting. Um, the white sage, this is white sage. Kind of do that. Um, this is also nicknamed grandfather sage, and it is wonderful for everyday use uh, for meditation or ceremonial reasons. Um, it also is used for medicinal purposes. Um, the smoke, when you light it, first of all, you can light it in a bundle, or you can light it, you know, separately. Um, anyway, it clarifies, or not clarifies, it uh, cleanses and purifies the air um, of negative energies. Um, it is suggested whenever you burn anything to clear out an area of negative energies, be sure you have a window or an escape route open so that way that energy can leave, okay? Anyway, um, this is also antibacterial, antibacterial you know what I mean, agent. So that way um, people have made tinctures out of California sage uh, for mouthwash um, to even yeah, people with gingivitis. They say they have benefit from this. So this is white sage. All right, next sage we have is mugwort. This is also known as black sage or dream weed. Um, this is used more in uh, specific ceremonies and it is said that it helps you get into a different uh, conscious mind. Um, shamans use this quite often uh, and it alters your consciousness. So. Uh, this is kind of like the white sage I described to my clients. This is kind of like the white sage, sage on steroids. So, um, it is very powerful for clearing of negative energies. Again, always have that escape route open. Um, and, um, it helps since it's also called that dream lead, it helps to, um, and it's like what I said before with that, um, get into a different conscious level, it will um, help bring on certain dreams. So some people are waiting for that vision or getting a sign. They will incorporate this into their ceremonial practices. So this is Mugwort, Black Sage, Dream Week. All right, 
this is another stage we have. I have quite, it's a lot bigger bundle. Um, and it's a lot, if you compare the two, I'm gonna fold up some uh, white sage here. This is a Shasta sage, and it um, is a lot more stringy, I guess you would say, than the white sage. Uh, Shasta sage um, is more known among the feminine side. You know, there's a yin and yang. This is the feminine side of that, and it really helps for alignment and uh, preparation for meditation. Um, it has, it's not as pungent, it's not as strong, but it is a very, uh, it's very pleasant smell. It's more a floral. So, um, this is just a sage. The next sage we have is blue sage. Um, it's not really blue. It actually looks very similar to the white California sage, but not as bulky looking. Uh, Blue sage is also known as a uh, grandmother sage. So you have the white sage, which is grandfather sage, and you have the uh, uh, blue sage that is grandmother sage, or also known as desert sage. Um, it is very mm, similar to lavender. And as with Sash, Sash, Sasha, Shasta sage, oh my goodness, as with just a sage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it is great for using to prepare for times that you meditate. Be in that area and then meditate. So this is boot. All right, the next one we're going to, this is Palo Santo wood. See, I burn this. I usually, I've, in my meditation daily, I will burn sage at the beginning, Palo Santo at the end. This is just a part of my ritual that I do. Um, Palo, uh, Palo Santo is called um, Holy Wood. Um, it goes all the way back to Inca times. I mean, they were using it for, uh, let's see, relax, um, I think for, oh, what were they using it for? More for healing um, ceremonies back in Inca times. So. There's Palo Santo wood. It helps to increase relaxation and to clear out negative energies and kind of attract positive ones. So that is why I like using this at the end of my meditation sessions. All right. Okay. Um, the last one I'm going to talk to you about is just regular bay leaves. Um, uh, these can be burned for help the smoke and help relieve anxiety and stress. Sitting there and just focusing on that smoke that's coming off of these leaves. Um, when you do burn uh, bay leaves, you do have to do it repeatedly, it doesn't stay lit. So, and it burns quite quickly. Um, a lot of tinctures um, are made uh, for either as an antibiotic, antiseptic, um, and people with mouth problems will use bay leaves um and when you burn this in you uh, in a medicinal way um, it helps break up mucus um, if you're having respiratory problems um, one thing i do like about bay leaves and i incorporate it into my group guided meditations is uh, using these for intentions um pass out bay leaves well with a sharpie write down our intentions that we want to have happen, positive, good things for everybody, and burn them. And then we uh, dump the ashes outside into the wind. So our intentions are spread. And uh, that's just uh, a good way to kind of share uh, your positive hopes for others and for yourself. So bay leaves. Very, very good. Now, of course, there's a lot of other sages, a lot of other uh, herbs, or even, I guess, trees. I mean, because there's cedar, 
Juniper. Ju I just can't talk. Anyway, there's a lot of these other uh, herbs, trees, uh, sages that you can burn for ceremonial and um, medicinal purposes. Uh, go out there. Go out to all these sites and check it out. Um, in the description below, I went ahead and I put some of the sites that I thought had very good information. Um, I'll put that in the description below. Um, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, check us out at TheEverythingZen.com and you can find us on Facebook at the at, at uh, that little thing and the everything Zen. So um, just keep posted to what we have coming up and we will see you later. Bye.